What's going on? This is Shiesty, and right now you're watching Media Spotlight UK. Make sure you keep it locked. They're always supporting me. I've got nothing but love for these guys. They're fun as well. So make sure you keep it locked. Shiesty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes. we caught this lady at the Pink Miss launch party last year. Yes. And now reunited once again, it's the beautiful Shiesty. <laughs> How you. are you? I am good, man. I'm really good. Yes, I'm excited. It's press day today, so... It, it must have been a very, very long one for it's you. It's been a long one, but it's fun, though. Like, I enjoy, like, the, the fun questions. All right, cool. Well, we're going to give you some today, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay. Now, before we get into music, before anything else, there's okay. more important stuff we've got to talk about. Okay. Now, you and I... Yes. We do share something special, don't we? We share something very special. And would you like to tell the audience what we share? Our birthday. Is? Christmas Day. Christmas babies. <laughs> oh, yes. We Best believe. Christmas babies. Best believe. Best <laughs> believe. So you must get this all the time, yeah. as I do. Yeah. And do you only get one present? Yeah. yeah. Do you get double presents? Yeah. Is, it, is, is it the same for you? Um, it depends who it is. Like, my... Like my mum and I, my brothers and sisters, they will get me two. They'll get me like one birthday, one present. Some friends will get, you know, one present, one birthday thing as well. But then some friends might just give one. And be like, happy birthday and Christmas. Yeah, do it as one all together, yeah, just, just to save as, the trouble. Yeah, just this, this one. So it no. depends like what friend and who it is really. All right, awesome. Um, what's been the most memorable Christmas um, for you? Like what, what stands out for you? What stands out for me as a Christmas? Um, maybe not this year. I think it might be the year before um, I had like my cousins and that come over, my best friend, my brothers and sisters, obviously. And we had like um, hip hop karaoke. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. so that was like really, really fun. We had like that. And then there was like a game of they can tell if you're lying or not. So we yeah. had all of that. Then we just drinking food just games talking i think that was like one of my fun christmases that oh. i had yeah. awesome awesome so if you got your decorations ready for this year as well yeah I, we're putting them up tomorrow oh you put yeah <laughs> you quite have a late start I, like I it's near the third of december yeah, now yeah i am going straight in tomorrow <laughs> going up going up just build from there all right straight in okay well we've got to talk music so yeah. first thing i gotta say is that um to me, the track that defines you, the legacy of you, mm -hmm. for me, is Pull It. Push your hands up high if you feel it. Push your hands up high if you feel it. Push your hands up high if you feel it. DJ JJ, pull it, feel it. Oh, seriously? It, it, oh. I play it I every so say often. One wish. Yeah, yeah uh, it's Pull It for me. Like, yeah. One Wish is awesome, um, but Pull It is yeah. the ultimate track that gets me going every single oh, time. Wicked. Like, still playing at the clubs. Did you think it would be that successful as a mainstream song? No. I just, th th the thing is, with all my songs here yeah, that take me like 20 minutes to half an hour to write, they're the ones that just seem to just fly off and go and do stuff. But the ones that I spend ages on, they just kind of go with people's heads. Yeah. So, pull it, I remember writing it in my garden on that summer. Um, and I just wrote to a drum beat. There was nothing else playing. It was just like a simple drum beat of a loop. And I was just in the garden and I was just like, I don't want to do verses, I just want to do like hooks and stuff. So I just wrote a bunch of hooks, like all of my thing, just wrote them down. Mm. And then I went to studio and that's exactly how I laid it. I just laid just sets of hooks, blah, 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 blah. Then sent the vocals over to Ill Blue. And I laid a, t a ton of like stuff and they didn't even use everything they just picked out certain things placed it there repeated some stuff added like it's the funky thing right now and they made it to what it is it's a funky thing right now you dropped a single last month called uh, stop yep. with jaleesa yep. and um you got a new single called let me go yep I actually like it because it, it's <laughs> kind of like a house beat. As yeah, I say, I'm yeah. very, very much into my breakbeat house. Yeah. I like that sort of stuff. So that's what drives me. You did your Pink Mist EP last year as well. Yeah. And obviously now you've got Exhalation. That's <laughs> your upcoming EP. Yep. Um, so obviously all these EPs are going. We still haven't heard an album. Yeah. Like when are we going to look towards that? The thing is, like I finishing off this EP. It's basically finished. It's just like mixing and mastering now. But I messaged my manager probably like last week and I was like, okay, I think I'm getting close and, you know, ready to d 
do an album now because I know the direction I want. I've got into like um, a really good flow of how things work mm -hmm. from stop doing stop. Yeah. There's like a formula that I'd done for stop and it worked. And then I'd done the same formula for let me go. So I was like, hmm, okay. Rather than before, I didn't have a formula. I'm just writing and yeah. things are disjointed and stuff. So I feel like I've got a formula now that I can work that works for me and works for the producers. Mm -hmm. So now it's just about zoning in now and maybe doing an independent album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I'll probably be working towards that from next year, early next year. Oh, uh, well, I can't wait okay. to hear the album when it does <laughs> drop. Um, what would you like to hear on an album? Ooh. Yeah, what, what kind of... You're kinda putting me on the spot yeah, now. Yeah, okay. Because um, I need to know what people that support me and they've been listening to me, what would they like to hear from Shazzy on an album? Well, for me, like, I like some of the older stuff that you had that sort of like that raw fire of energy um you know when you had your grind beats back mm -hmm. in the day i'm a seminal fight star general dead in anybody buddy then my body back them anybody can get it be dead in anybody back about this for any and anybody in general but i think where you've done a lot of experimental stuff within you know your previous ep and this ep as well yeah. and then obviously now you've established where you want to go yeah. i think maybe for you it's a mixture of maybe house and grime okay. as like a more so towards like the house side of things yep. um and maybe a bit of r&b as well but more hard r&b okay. i think that would kind of set the tone for you that's the kind of vibe that i'm really looking to go to um and i'm into at the minute like you mm. know house like let me go a bit housey mm. the newer stuff that i'm doing i've got another song called um how deep is your love like it's housey 90s so good like i just love it so that's the kind of direction okay well um obviously you've been rapping you've also been acting obviously everyone knows you from double Lake drama yeah. um the feature in adulthood um you're multi-talented and thank even you. down to the pictures i've seen on london fashion week hello you look gorgeous <laughs> thank you, you look so sexy and thank I was you. like where the hell did that come from i was like the person that came from tracksuits <laughs> into this i'm thinking damn, damn. <laughs> for real so um after being multi-talented as you are, like yeah. when you look back in years to come, what would you most want to be known for? What would you, what would you want to leave as your legacy? Just being, um, you know, doing stuff that's innovative, like that people haven't done or they're scared to do, um, like with the double drama TV series. It's never been done before. No one had ever done. A f it's the first interactive TV series that I've done. So doing stuff that pe make people think like, well, you can do it. I want to be the inspiration to like the younger kids coming up like I'm just a girl from Hackney mm. that's now living in North London that's come up and achieved these things so it is possible um yeah and just being a young female just being successful and ambitious and you know staying with it being persistent and achieving crazy things that not that I thought maybe it's not even possible for me to do so okay yeah. speaking of the sort of younger talent that's coming up now like obviously to me you're a female pioneer of UK rap to, in my Thank eyes you. so you set the standpoint and it's a very male predominant industry mm -hmm. as you know um who are you feeling right now as far as UK female artists and who do you think is going to take that next step to make a mark in the industry who are you feeling right now I'm feeling Jess Glynn at the minute. Nice. Yeah. Nice. First, I'm going to say a female. I'm seeing it. Uh, you know what? I <laughs> was kind of thinking that, but that, that but Jess Glynn's do yeah. big things. Yes. I really, really like Jess Glynn. Um, Little Sims is doing her thing as yep. well. And I like her because she's doing something that not a lot of UK artists are doing. It's more, you probably American artists will be doing that kind of, you know, trippy kind of music that's dope like mm. i really like like little sims i like her she's got a video out as well mm. i can't remember what it's called but um it's kind of home camera-ish with a boyfriend that's seeing someone else and stuff mm -hmm. so i kind of like her direction as well she's just doing her like she's not trying to fit into a box so i want to be mainstream i want to be grand I wanna, like she's doing her she's like, literally doing her, her and not justified like, for yeah, anybody else i don't care what genre this is this is cool for me and i'm running with it so i really really like that about little sick Sims. sick what can we expect in 2015 for you because i'm hearing that you've got a launch coming mm. up as well i've got my ep release so that's coming up like the first quarter of 2015 let me um let me go is coming out in february um early february and then the ep will be following that so i'll be having a launch party for the ep are we invited out of course you guys are. yeah yeah, yeah. Like, listen i'm down man i'm down i'm up for a party i haven't been out for such my, a long time my performances are sick like yeah. it's energetic so i saw it at the pink miss launch party yeah. you shut it 
down. Thank you. Make sure if you come, you're ready to just vibe and listen. Go crazy. I'm just <laughs> get me, get me, a, get me a few glasses on the table. Yes. Get me mash up, and I'll be ready. <laughs> Trust so me. That and then um, yeah, the EP, the single, and then um, I'm gonna be doing my own tour as well. So putting that together now and more acting really. So yeah. We're gonna lighten the load right now. Now you see some items on the table. Yeah. Now. Basically, we're going to go for a series of questions. We've got an easy question, which is that Christmas ornament there. Okay. The medium question, which is the Haribos there. Okay. And a mystery prize, which is not on the table yet. That's okay. the hardest question. Okay. <laughs> right. Basically, how it's going to work is this. You're going to go for the easy question. If you get that answer correct, you can either take that item with you yeah. or you can progress on to the medium question okay. and so on and so forth. Okay. If you get an answer wrong at any point, you lose, you lose the game straight up. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I hope I've done these in good justice to you. So, um, oh you ready for this? I feel so, yes. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So, the easy question for the Christmas ornament What is the Christmas item placed above when you give someone a complimentary kiss? Mistletoe. Correct. Easy. Every, everyone have got that. So, you can take that with you. So, you can either decide to take that right now or you can. I am a risk taker. Let's go. Let's, All right, let's move, move on. on. To the next. Medium question. Yes. Okay. Now, you have an artist in your team called Reese Bibby. Yes. Who appeared on the X Factor. But can you tell me who won last year's X Factor? Shit. Last year's X Factor. Oh, I'm going to lose <laughs> my prize. <laughs> I'm going to lose my prize. She, uh, I'll give you a clue. She's, yeah. she's a white woman. Oh, um, um, Sam, Sam Bailey. <laughs> Correct. Well done. Well done. Well done. I kind of, kind of cheated a little bit. I gave you a little leeway about it. So, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right. So we're gonna get into the final Let's question. Let's go, man. I'm on oh, fire you're straight right in now. through. I'm, I'm not even gonna announce through. it. This yeah. ain't no tense thing like this, Chris Tarrant. Let's go. All I know go. is the next prize better be better than this and this. It, it, it Trust me. Okay, let's Trust go. me. Like, I, I fought my way to get it. So. <laughs> All right. So okay. this is the hardest question. You ready for this? I feel so. Yeah. Okay. Name five. Oh, here we go. Flips. <laughs> <laughs> Name five. Yeah. Stereo kicks. No. Okay. Name five <laughs> of Father Christmas's reindeer. Oh my God. Okay. Jesus, man. Um. Oh my God. Rudolph. Correct. One. Um. Um. <laughs> No cheating, no cheating. I'm sure excited, I can see, but I'm just like, hey. <laughs> I'll let you have one clue from the audience. Uh, audience? Prancer. Two, yeah. correct. Um, Need three more. Prancer. I can't believe this. I'm a Christmas day birthday yeah. baby, and this I can't is, I even name. Be easy for you. I can't even name this thing. There's a song to this, isn't there? I'm sure there is. Um, Prancer. It's like a thing. Vixen? Is there a bloody rain dog there called Vixen? I'll, I'll allow that off. I'll allow that off. But you have to name two by yourself now. So you got Vixen, Prancer, Rudolph. I'm going to need two more from you. Um, Come on, I want you to win this. Uh, I want you to win this well. badly. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'll give you a clue. One begins with C. Think of someone that shoots arrows on Valentine's Day. Cupid. There Morph. is not a reindeer called there Cupid. Is, there is. There is. What? There what? is. There is. Okay. There is. One more. One I more. One more. One more. Oh, what are you doing? Who? Think kebabs. <laughs> God, come on. I want you to win this badly. Think of what, all right, think Go of on. what comes out of the sky and is based on destruction. Uh, it comes from the sky. What, not comet? Yes, correct. Well done. Well done. Thank you, guys. With all the clues, <laughs> with all the clues, with all the clues. I got a lot of yeah, help. See, I did got, get a lot of help. <laughs> yeah, but oh my God, you, I did, you know birthday. what? I would never have thought that's the... Um, Prancer is the most familiar sounding one, yeah. and obviously Rudolph. But and the you got others. It by yourself, well done. So he helped me with Prancer, <laughs> but oh, yes, yeah, he did as well. I got Rudolph. Okay, but so the others, Jesus. So as you have won, okay. by the 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the name Shiesty, man. The name <laughs> Shiesty. This is all about I'm cheating. I'm going to give you your present now as it's not on the table. Okay. So oh, this snap. Is, Thank you. This is oh. your top prize. Look what I've got, guys. Ah, you're not going to be drinking this later. <laughs> guys, join a glass. I'll just share a glass with you guys because you <laughs> help me. You help me win this. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, it is, is your birthday. Yes. It is Christmas as well. So I thought I'd just give you a gift as oh, part of it. You. But you had to earn it. I had it, to earn I'm it. Glad but you did. Yes, thank you. Um, so thank you for being such a good sport. If thank you can you. tell our audience where they can catch you on Twitter, Facebook, yep. Instagram, the whole works. Give Every, it to us. Everything is I am shy, Steve. I A M S H Y S T I E. Everything's just forward slash shy. My Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Twitter, my website, everything is just, I, I just keep it clean and central, man, you know, so you can just find me everywhere. Awesome. I am Shasti. And now you can take all your ornaments home as well. I'm gonna Every put single this, one. This can you start hang this from, on your wall. This is starting from tomorrow. I'm just going to put my Christmas tree <laughs> yeah, up on I tomorrow. Mean, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'm having these to boost my energy up, man. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. You're I love welcome. this. Thank you're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Shasti, it's been a pleasure. Thank Media you. Media Spotlight UK and we are out. Yeah. Give me all your love. Give me all your love.